Mark Halsey flatly denies making racist and sexist remarks to his staff. In his former response to a judicial investigation, the judge is also calling for a separate inquiry into how these charges against him were leaked to the public as he is running for another term. For now, Halsey is not presiding over any criminal cases and has been assigned at least temporarily to probate court. Channel 4's Jim Pickett has more on the judge's response. He's also been talking with Halsey's supporters and critics. Jim? You know, Tom, I've been talking to a lot of people about this, but Judge Halsey, who, as you mentioned, is up for re-election, isn't still talking to us on camera about this case. But he is saying plenty in this written response to the Judicial Qualifications Commission. Judge Halsey is denying everything, and he laid it all out in his written response, saying none of the reports of sexist or racist comments are true. He outlined each one specifically, including the allegation that the judge told a staff member that African Americans should go back on a ship to Africa. In the written statement, it says, Judge Halsey denies the allegation and does not subscribe to and rejects the beliefs described in that statement. As for the other charges that he used crude and sexist language to describe female staff members, the judge denies using such language to refer to any staff attorney. He denies that he referred to female staff attorneys as cheerleaders who talked during the national anthem, and he denies berating a staff attorney. The judge also says he never required his assistants to do personal errands for him, and he denies that the chief judge instructed him to limit his use of staff attorneys. He also says he denies willfully or intentionally engaging in any inappropriate conduct. Rhonda Peoples Waters is one of the group of attorneys standing behind the judge. Of course, I certainly support and agree with Judge Holsey's response and agree that he does treat all persons fairly when they come in his courtroom because that's certainly evidenced by what we've seen. But a group of ministers who are still planning to protest at the courthouse if Halsey doesn't resign isn't buying the judge's statements. My true reaction is it seems as though he's saying that everybody is plotting against him. Um, he's in denial. Now, the judge is also requesting that commission do an investigation looking at how the information was leaked to the public. And he said that resulted in widespread rumors about this investigation. Tom? Jim, will the investigation of the judge have any effect on defendants who've already been convicted and sentenced in Halsey's courtroom? Well, it could. I did talk to another attorney today who has filed a motion. He's seeking more information about the judge, and it concerns a client of his on death row. Uh, he said that that client was sentenced by Halsey. He wants to find out more information, and he believes that the judge could have had an impact on that death sentence of his client, who is Terrence Phillip, who was, by the way, was sentenced to death for a double murder here in Jacksonville on Christmas Eve of 2009. Jim, thank you.